In Augusta County, Virginia, the fallout from a controversial police video last week has taken a disturbing turn. Bobby Klinedinst, the man who recorded Deputy Andrew Simonetti's use of force against a co-worker in Verona, now alleges that the Augusta County Sheriff is targeting his significant other, Felicia Knights. He thinks the Sheriff is trying to intimidate him, to stop him from cooperating with an investigation into his deputy. Klindinst shares a series of troubling events, suggesting retaliation linked to his whistleblowing. Knights, on probation, faced insurmountable hurdles attending a rehab program. After being dropped off in Hampton, she was stranded without a way to contact anyone. The hospital turned her away, unaware of her arrival, leaving her wandering for hours. The ride, arranged by Knight's probation officer, had departed, intentionally leaving her vulnerable. After the Riverside incident, Knight's sought medical attention at the Life Center of Galax, where she was mistakenly given someone else's blood thinner. Despite severe sickness, she offered to attend any program. Following her probation officer's recommendation of the Pyramid program, Knights, obediently following instructions, arrived only to be told the rideshare had left early, a move seemingly orchestrated to cause further distress. Kleindinst reports that Knights, despite facing numerous obstacles, was determined to overcome the challenges thrown her way. However, the relentless hurdles, such as being stranded in downtown Hampton and receiving the wrong medication, pushed her to a breaking point. Kleindinst, deeply concerned for Knight's well-being, emphasizes that her stress and despair reached an unbearable level. The situation took an even darker turn when Kleindinst returned home on December 21st, 2023, at 5.13 p.m., to discover Knight's hanging from a rope. He swiftly intervened, rushing her to Augusta Medical Center with the hope of prompt medical attention. However, despite visible bruising from the rope around her neck, Knights allegedly received only stabilizing medical treatment. Shockingly, her probation was then violated, leading to her arrest by the sheriff's office at the hospital. This arrest not only hindered her from attending the Pyramid Rehab Center as planned, but also resulted in Knights remaining incarcerated in the Middle River Regional Jail during the holiday season. The lack of a hearing or an opportunity to post bond because of the holidays further compounds the distressing circumstances. Kleiner Dinst firmly believes that the distressing events unfolding are a direct consequence of his role in exposing the controversial arrest video of Frank Allen Schulpman. The potential connection between this video and the targeted actions against Knights raises grave concerns about the alleged misuse of power within Augusta County law enforcement. It is crucial to note that the incidents, including Knights being stranded and subsequently arrested, all occurred after Kleinerdienst handed over the Schultman recording. This sequence of events intensifies the fear of retribution within Kleinerdienst, who has a simple and poignant message for the Augusta County Sheriff's Office. I just took a video in public. Leave my family alone. While Sheriff Smith's opposition to body cams is well documented, the alarming pattern of threats and arrests against those recording police interactions demands urgent attention. Notably, Augusta County Deputy C.J. Taylor faced charges for assaulting two police auditors who were filming a traffic stop earlier this year, further fueling concerns about a concerning trend within the Augusta County Sheriff's Office. Breaking Through News is closely monitoring this situation, with the community demanding transparency and justice. As Augusta County faces escalating controversies, the need for a thorough reassessment of law enforcement practices becomes evident. Stay with Breaking Through News for updates on this unfolding story. Subscribe on the Newsbreak app or our website at breakingthrough.com.